I'm in Cheadle Hume, one of Stockport's most lovely leafy areas, full of quiet streets, great schools and lovely family housing. Not the type of place that you would expect to find a piece of cutting edge contemporary architecture. And by the look of it, looks like they're still building it. This bustling suburb is popular, but it comes at a price. As well as great facilities, it's on the commuter belt for Manchester city centre. So you'll need nearly £340,000 for a semi-detached in a street like this. Sam and Matt met at university. Sam's a Pilates teacher and Matt works in the aviation industry. They bought this standard three-bedroom house several years ago, but shared a love of modern design, and so it's not a bog-standard semi anymore. Hey guys, this is incredible. You walk down the street and it's just like, bang, you know, it punches you. It does, and we're really pleased with it. Obviously, there's a lot of work to do still outside, but, you know, inside it's done. This doesn't say residential Cheadle. This says art gallery museum. Let's have a look at what you've done inside. Hello. We're not in suburbia anymore, are we? This is super high-end design. It just sort of pulls you in a little bit and then you step through into the room and it's like, bang, the whole space just opens up. Sam and Matt's conversion was all about space. The new upstairs layout, provided by the controversial cantilevered box above the old garage, has given them four generous-sized bedrooms, one ensuite and a family bathroom. Downstairs, they've kept the old front room, but they've demolished the dated kitchen lean-to and replaced it with a huge 15-square-metre glass-sided room jutting out onto the garden creating an open-plan living, dining and kitchen area, bringing the outside in. So when you walk through the house here, I mean, the glazing is just so free of obstructions. Yeah, it's a great feature. Works like an infinity pool when you're at the front door, slightly lower down. And the glass meets the floor and you just see straight out into the garden. That back here, I mean, it really does just frame that entire view out of there. I see what you mean about the infinity pool. It's like I'm peering through an art gallery as well. It's another wow feature that people yeah. who've been around comment on, either from the back or when they walk through the front, just looking through that archway and seeing straight into the garden. We've even had delivery men go, wow, you <laughs> see right through. <laughs> Sam and Matt now have a traffic stopping home twice the size of their original house. They knew what they wanted, but to achieve the whole look, they enlisted the skills of an architect. Now, me and Maurice go back a bit because when I first came out of uni, I think I was your sort of junior. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think the main thing you used to say to me is, where's my coffee? Oh, I don't think it wasn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> so I learned a lot from Maurice. How did it feel when you both sat down at the table for the first time? Was there a sort of joined approach to how it was going to work? Morris showed us the design straight off the bat that we kind of looked at it and were like, yes, that one, we'll have that, please. What Morris had given us straight off was basically what we wanted in terms of the space and the light and all the rest of it. The functionality of this house is very clear to see. You've got clear, distinct areas and the way that the light's coming in, I love the fact that you've got a very clean square punch through on an aperture in the roof light there that's then flipped round and that's the same punch that you've got coming through here. So you're bringing light in using the same devices. There's very clever stuff going on here. It's very subtle, but it's very clever. Very simple stuff, really, just, just bringing in light where you can. As soon as you start building an extension, you always have that room there. That, that used to be the outside wall that becomes internal and it can get a bit dark, so, it, you know, hence why we punch through the roof, because we've got a flat roof yeah. to get through. Morris's plans meant that natural light floods throughout the whole house with carefully placed new windows and roof lights. But the proof of the plans is always going to be in the final build. The controversial cantilevered box may not be everybody's cup of tea, but what's undeniable is that Sam and Matt's extensive renovation has given them 
the family home they had always dreamed of, and that is priceless. I'm in Burwood in Birmingham to meet Matt and Becky, who, despite loving their modest house, have had to make some big plans to accommodate their growing family. Matt and Becky have been married for 10 years, but with two young daughters growing up fast, the collection of pokey dark rooms inside their home just didn't work for them anymore. The couple bought the house for £250,000. It was a home for eight years before they decided to make it bigger. Hey, Matt, Becky, how are you doing? Hi oh, there, how are you? It's a bit of a nice area, isn't it? It's a beautiful area, we love it here. I've been led to believe that even though you've got this perfect little chocolate box house, that you've gone and done something a little bit different with it. Yeah, we have. Do you want to come and have a look? I'd love to have a look. Oh, oh, oh. wow. <laughs> um, begs the question, where has the back of your house gone? Yeah, we're still trying to find it, actually. <laughs> Matt and Becky have turned a typical end of terrace into an amazing, super stylish model. The beautiful sliding doors open out onto the attractive garden to help give the illusion of added space with endless sight lines. Slabs of sheet glass dissect the roof, allowing the extension to be flooded with natural light. This is crazy. You look at it from the outside, you walk in, you do not expect the entire back of the house to have just disappeared. No, it's, it's a, a real wang moment for us when it was um, growing and being built, um, and even more so now on a day like this, because it's beautiful. And it's yeah. Beautiful. This says kind of eye on design, eye on style, want everything to look clean, nice little homely feel, but a big wow impact. Absolutely. Yeah, it's an incredible feeling walking in every day, really, for us. This once modest house with cramped rooms has been cleverly transformed into an impressive state-of-the-art home. With the right architect and a canny builder, Becky and Matt have managed to achieve this for just £150,000. That just proves that you don't need an epic budget to get an epic house.